Eagles, old Ron Hines coming back at you. Hope you're having a fine day. Hey, so Kamala Harris had a uh, some kind of town hall kind of thing. I just noticed that on our closing that she ignored every issue that faces us, the United States of America and the citizens thereof and the migrants that have been allowed in. She didn't talk about anything of substance. But she did, however, turn to name calling. She called Donald Trump, she called him a fascist. And uh, so one of the things I've noticed is what her and her party do is they'll say something and that like somebody's doing something, but yet they're doing it themselves. So I guess that makes her the real fascist. And I want to point out something to you. I don't always agree with Donald Trump, but I agree with him more than my home party, the Democrats. I was, yep. Anyway, but old J. Be Joy Behor, what's her name? Behar, Behor, whatever her name is. Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Jesse Jackson, we remember him, Al Sharpton, and a bunch of others. They were all friends and lovey-dovey, took pictures with uh, Donald Trump, and he was not a racist until June 16th of 2015 when he announced he was running for president on the Republican ticket. Anyway, uh, I like the way the old boy operated when, even though he did, uh, did the COVID thing that kind of sucked. We, uh, but, uh, there was a big recovery after that shutting down for two weeks. It turned into several months. You, I think that was a control issue for here these to see with what our government the ones that are corrupt could get away with. And now, I've been dealing with the black web and finding out stuff. So the, the United States of America and the people that run it for us, that are so-called elected officials, there's so much corruption that it hurts. They take our tax dollars and they do pretty much what they wish with it. It is not their money. That is our money. Uh, this year, I'm when I write, I always owe the IRS money. And uh, which I already have some of my money because my employer pays it for me. I got to pay my own way. But I think I'm going to give them just as much money as they gave them poor victims in North Carolina from the hurricane. $750. See how they like that. Screw the IRS. You know, for the amount of taxes that are taken in every year, uh, we have we give tons of money away, and then nobody asked me if we should support the war in Ukraine. That was a Joe Biden initiative, and apparently Kamala Harris supported that. I'm just sick and tired of the wasteful spending. I have to live within my means and my budget. So should my government, and we are. I don't even know. I can't even fathom the amount that it is in the trillions of dollars you know in realistic terms if i buy if i buy something for 450 dollars i'll probably get pay cash for it but anything other than that is not even real money to me because i'm either going to put a credit card down or write you a check and put my name on it and i never see the transfer of funds right i never held that money my bank held it right whether I sign my name 52 times to buy a dwelling or whatever, it's not real money. And then every month, not real money goes back to that bank. Cash is king. We should use cash more often. In fact, now I'm off politics and I'm on to regular economics. I, uh, me and Tamisha try to eat at a restaurant at least once uh, every, every weekend. And when we do that, we try to pick one that's not a big old fancy chain. And that's a mom and pop shop that supports the local economy. Then when I go there, I actually pay in cash. I do not use a credit card. They do not lose 3.5% that the bank gets. And uh bank needs to find a way to make money by lending it, but not making it off of a, the point of sale cards and all that other stuff. But anyway, and I want that owner to have a, a true value for what I got. Anyway, so you should try that wherever you are. Shop mom and pop shops. May cost you a little more, may cost you less, but uh, 
even our local hardware store, uh, when I go there, I actually end up saving money versus a big chain uh, lumber supply house, like, um, and I'll mention them, Home Depot or the Lowe's. So yeah, I like shopping mom and pop shops. And that's what we should do as red-blooded Americans. And in fact, I needed a shovel. And this is a couple of years ago. And I spent 20 plus dollars finding a shovel that said it was made in the USA versus a $8 shovel at the tractor supply. That's who and what I am. And that's the way I live my life. Hopefully you'll think about those things and maybe you will too. So elections right around the corner. I really, you have the right to vote for whoever you want to. But if you can't see that why the media, who's owned by very rich liberals, and that all these politicians that are corrupt and on somebody's uh, payroll, and they're lining their own pockets, why they hate Donald Trump? Because he can't be bought. He had like three billion dollars. I, I, I bet his net worth is probably way lower now. But he didn't need anything that anybody had to offer him. All he, I think he actually worked for these here United States. But I will go back. Last thing about politics: Nancy Pelosi. She made for twenty-five, thirty years. She's made a hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year in her job. But yet, she's worth $40, 50 $60 million. She's, I can see it. She's done insider trading. And if I, I had people telling me what to buy and sell on a daily basis, well, you know, I'd have a little more money too. Not that I need. I, God's already given me more than whatever I need. And I know my needs are taken care of by His graces. And mentioning to God, I'm going to go back to my flag. I honestly believe the United States of America is in trouble because of our debt, because of our division here. Yeah, the United States is in trouble. So when you go to your Lord and Savior today, be sure to lift up this once great nation. If you wasn't going to go to your Lord and Savior in prayer today, maybe you should. Talk to God. It's not going to hurt. And then talk to him through Jesus' name because that's all. Make sure he hears it. All right, talk about going to the Lord and Savior in prayer. So hopefully you get something out of these videos. I appreciate you watching. Leave, if you would, like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave me a comment, and I'll look into your stuff. I got some emojis, but no comments yesterday. So anyway, God bless you all. Have a great day. We'll be coming at you soon. Bye.